in some cases where the teeth are not clear, like if we have metal artifacts, for instance, that cause the image not to be very clear, how can we really manage these cases and how can we accurately match our data together? For that, we actually came up with quite a new solution. So what we're using is what we call the R2 tray. And the R2 tray is basically a radio pick tray that we have the patient wear while the patient is being CBCT scanned. So how do we really use and prepare the R2 gate uh, tray? So in essence, what we say is in cases like these where you have a lot of natural teeth, there is no need for you to use an R2 tray. Just go ahead and scan the patient since you already know that you can see the teeth quite clearly and there's no metal in the patient's mouth. On the other hand, in some cases we have a lot of metal in the patient's mouth, we have a lot of crowns, a lot of fillings. These are the cases where we advise that you use the Archer tray. The reason why is because these cases emit a lot of scatter and then eventually it's going to be very tough for us to actually match everything together. So the R2 tray is a short tray that we can place in the patient's mouth right here in the video. You see that we're trying the fit of the tray in the patient's mouth just to make sure that it fits in the patient's mouth. Like any other tray, just apply a little bit of adhesive in the tray. And then what we recommend is using a polyvinyl siloxane or PVS rubber base or bite registration material into the fitting surface of the tray and then just go ahead and place that in the patient's mouth. Right here, you'll see that we're placing the tray in the patient's mouth all the way down until it actually fully seats in the patient's mouth. What we'll do right now is we'll wait for that material to set without any movement and then after that, I'll go ahead and I'll take it out of the patient's mouth. Right here, the tray was taken out of the patient's mouth and we're just trying the fit of the tray again, just to make sure that there are no rocking movement that happens in the patient's mouth right here. Next will be to CVCT scan the patient wearing the tray. So see here, this is a case that has a lot of scatter in it. You know, these are one of those very difficult cases to match. See here how much scatter we have. But due to the fact that we used an R2 tray in this case, you see here, I can see the outline of the tray. And because I can see the outline of the tray, this is what really enables me to do the matching between the model and the CBCT. So you see here how the R2 tray actually helps us in this process. And due to the, to the fact that it has a flat, nice outline that enables us to confirm the accuracy of the matching as much as possible. And this is what we need in guided surgery. The accuracy of the mashing really, really makes a big difference when it comes to the accuracy of the placement of the implant. The final implant position is, you know, tremendously affected by the accuracy of the matching. So in essence, when and when not to use an R2 tray. So in natural teeth, where cases like this, where we have a lot of natural teeth, you don't need to use an R2 tray. On the other hand, if we have cases like this, where we have a lot of metal scatter, it's always advised to use the R2 tray.